Welcome back kindergartners. Today we're going to be making a picture like this one. It's going to be called our robot collage. So three things that we're going to be learning about today. Number one, the word collage. A collage is when you take lots of different pieces of paper, usually smaller, they can be any size, and you glue them together to make another picture like this one. This is a bunch of little pieces of paper that are all arranged and glued down to make a robot. So that's the word collage. Let's say that together. Good. Next we're going to remind ourselves what the primary colors are. We already learned these, but just as a review, the primary colors are the three main colors that we start with in art. And those three main colors are red, yellow, and blue. And if you look at my robot collage, you can see those three colors. We've got the body being red, his buttons here are blue, and his belt and his hands and some of his face are yellow. So those are our primary colors. Let's say that together. Right. So now, the last thing we're going to learn about is we're going to start talking about shapes. All around us in the world, there are lots of different shapes. Now, we are going to be talking about the basic shapes. Some of the basic shapes are triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, ovals, and those are kind of our basic shapes. Some other ones, a trapezoid, this one's called a hexagon because it has six sides, and this one's called a pentagon because it has five sides. There are many, many, many different shapes out there, and these particular ones are called geometric basic shapes. The last word we're going to talk about is overlapping. We've reviewed this before, and in art, overlapping is super important. It's when you take one thing and put it on the top of something else, or on the top of something else. So like this square is behind the oval, or the circle, and this square is on top of this triangle. So overlapping gives us space in our picture. So now to our collage. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a black piece of paper, and I'm going to take my collage and move it out of the way. You're going to start with a black piece of paper, and you're going to start with three half sheets of color, your primary colors. Okay, and this is what we're going to use for our collages. Now, with our collage, first thing we need to do is we need to write our name. So down at the bottom of your picture, write your name. I'm going to write Mr. Lundgren because that's my name. you write your name. And there if I hold it in the light you can see it now. Write your name on the bottom. Good. Now flip your paper over so your name is on the back and now we're gonna start our robot collage. What you're gonna do, choose a color. You can be either of the primary colors, any of the primary colors. I'm gonna start with yellow because my other one was red so I'm gonna start with yellow and you can cut out a basic shape out of this piece now before you start cutting remember your cutting skills your thumb is always on the top you're always cutting away from your body so that you're being safe you never cut towards yourself you never cut towards your hand okay and you're always cutting away from yourself Thumb is always on the top. You never cut upside down like that because it's really awkward and you have a tendency to turn your wrist towards your belly. So you always want to cut away from yourself with your thumb on the top. Okay? So I'm going to cut out a rectangular body. I'm just going to cut a straight line like that. You could cut out a square. You could cut out a circle. You could cut out an oval you can cut out any of our basic shapes whatever you want so I'm gonna leave my rectangle there and leave our basic shapes there so you can choose one and then I want you to pick one out and cut it out of your color when you're done hold it up so I can see it good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that down right in the middle here okay and mine's a little bit too big I wanna I wanna trim it down there we go a little smaller now we're going to glue it. We're going to take our tap and glue bottle and remember the on button is right here at the top. You have to push it in to make it work. If I squeeze and squeeze and squeeze as hard as I can, nothing comes out. 
the second I push down and squeeze, a little bit of glue comes out. And remember, we don't need much. We just need a couple bunny hops. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. And now I'm going to flip this one over onto my paper. Remember, you always glue onto the paper that you're going to flip over and glue down to your base sheet, right? So I'm going to glue this one down and I'm going to move on to the next piece. What we're going to do then is we're going to make the head. Okay, I'm going to make my head the same color. I'm going to use um, some yellow here and I'm going to cut a square out. Notice I'm not going to cut a square out of the middle. I'm just going to cut a square out by going like this. A straight line vertical and a straight line horizontal and there we have ahead. Now I could take this and maybe I maybe I want to turn it into a circle. Notice how as I cut I'm turning the paper and I'm keeping my scissors pointed away from me the whole time. So there I could start with a circle too. There's a basic shape of a circle. Okay. When you get your head done hold it up so I can see it. Good. Now we're gonna glue it down to our collage Okay, there's my four bunny hops, pressing down and squeezing, and I'm going to put my head, flip it over, and I'm going to put it right there. All right, now we're going to move on. We're going to take the arms, sorry, the arms, the legs, and the neck, and we're going to kind of make everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same sheet here, my yellow, because we're kind of working with the body, and I'm going to cut small, thin lines off. And to do that, I'm just going to cut like that and just cut kind of the same direction. And I'm going to cut a, a few of these. I want one for the arms, or one for each arm, one for each leg, and then one for the neck. So there we go. We have five little strips of paper. I can get them to come apart. There we go. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. How many we're gonna have? That's right, five. Now I'm gonna kind of just slide these aside and I'm gonna start with the neck. I wanna have my neck slide underneath my head like that and slide underneath the body like that. So I need to have it just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna just lay it down there on the paper and I'm just gonna snip it like that so that it's a little bit longer on each side. You can kind of see how it's just a little bit longer. Then I'm going to put my glue kind of in the middle right there. Okay, two little bunny hops there. Then I'm going to slide it underneath the head and bend it and slide it underneath the body and then press it down. And there's my neck. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with my arms. Notice in my collage here I have his arm tilting up. We're gonna cut our paper strips in half. So take one of your paper strips, cut it in half like this, and you're gonna take the first one, put two little bunny hops on the back, and slide it right underneath his body. If you want his arm going up, you're going to tilt it up. If you want his arm going down, you'll tilt it down. So you're going to have to choose and make an artistic choice whether you want his arm going up or down. Now I'm going to take the other side of it and I'm going to put two little bunny hops on. Actually, I'm going to put three. I'll put one in the middle too. And now you have to make another artistic choice. Do you want your artistic choice to be his arms up, it's down, it's just kind of straight, and we're going to overlap it underneath. So notice how I stick it right like that and overlap it underneath that first piece so they look like almost like they're one piece. All right. So there is my first arm. I'm going to make my second arm by cutting this one in half. and gluing it down. Two bunny hops and then slide it underneath his shoulder
if I can get it underneath there. Here we go. And here's my other half. Now I'm going to glue this one so it looks like his arm is bending down, like he's running or something. And I'm going to slide it underneath so it's overlapped like that. Okay? Now we're going to do the same thing with the feet. Here's our two legs. And we want those to be bendy too, right at the knees. So I'm going to cut it in half. Glue the first one down. Two little bunny hops. And slide it underneath. And I get the second piece. Two little bunny hops. And slide that right underneath his knee. Like that. And you can decide your artistic choice whether you want his legs, you know, to the right or to the left or bent or kicking up in the air. Whatever you want. That's your artistic choice. Okay? Then I'm going to cut this last one in half here and glue this one down so it kind of looks like he's running just like we had in the other, the uh, this with his arms, you know how his arms are, he kind of looks like he's running. We're going to have this robot running to the side kind of. Okay, and I'm going to put this leg up in the air so it looks like he's running. like that. Okay, so there we have our main body shapes. Then we're going to work on the buttons and the face and the hands and the feet in our next video.